Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Square Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make Christmas wreath pavlova. Now it's basically a pavlova, but we're going to make it in the shape of a Christmas wreath and I'm going to show you guys how to decorate it with some delicious toppings. So the first thing we're going to do to get started is the meringue. So I'm going to show you the ingredient. We've got some corn flour here, some white vinegar, caster sugar or super fine sugar. We've got some egg whites and some delicious berries. Now I'm going with red and blue um, and I'm going to have some mint leaves that I'm going to put on top as well just to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. So first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is the meringue. So in a very, very, very clean bowl, you're going to put your egg whites. So make sure that when you separate your egg whites and your egg yolks that you do make like separate them. Uh, make sure there's no traces of egg yolks in there. If there is, just grab the shell or clean shell. Try and scoop the egg yolk out and you should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on medium speed and until it starts frothing up and we've got soft peaks. Okay, so you can see that we've got some soft peaks forming there. I mean, they're not staying up, but it's, it's fairly frothy. Now, you want to make sure you don't over mix your egg whites. You'll be able to tell if you've over mixed them. They just go really, really like very, very frothy and they're very stiff. You don't want that to happen before you put your sugar in. So at this stage, we're going to put it back on medium speed and very slowly, we're going to add our caster sugar, just a little bit at a time. And that is just going to ensure that our sugar is distributed evenly in the egg mixture. Okay, so now that all of our sugar is in, I'm going to pop it up on high speed and we want it to get to stiff peaks. Okay, so you know you've reached stiff peaks when that happens. It's not dripping, it's a little bit like wiggly at the end, but that's okay, that's the bird's beak. That's what we're looking for. So our meringue is ready, but just before we finish, we're going to put the paddle back on. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract, just about a teaspoon. So our corn flour is going to soak up any excess moisture that's in our meringue and our vinegar is going to help stabilize our meringue. So we're just going to mix this on slow until it's well incorporated. Okay, so it's all mixed in. Just get rid of any of that beautiful, delicious meringue. If you have kids, they will very much appreciate looking at this. Over here, I've got myself a baking tray. I've just drawn a circle on it using a dinner plate. I'm going to use that as a guide. So we want to make this into a Christmas wreath, like kind of like an O shape. So we're going to have a hole in the middle. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a spoon and just gently plop it on using the circle as a guide so that you can get your shape right. I could eat this just like this. It's so delicious, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna pop it in the oven on 120 degrees. Now, it, I recommend you guys getting a little oven thermometer just to make sure that your oven temperature is exactly what you want it to be. Especially with anything meringue, you wanna make sure you've got the right temperature. So 120 degrees in the oven for about an hour, and then we're ready to decorate. Okay guys, so our pavlova was in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. I let it cool down in the oven. Don't open the door, just let it cool down. At no stage while it's cooking, open the door. It will sink, it'll be a disaster. But you can cover it up with cream. I mean, a normal pavlova shouldn't have cracks on it, but mine does, but I don't care because it's still gonna taste the same and I'm gonna cover it up with cream so it doesn't even matter. Now speaking of cream, we're going to whip our cream up now. So in a very clean bowl, I'm gonna put my cream. I've got the whisk attachment. We're going to start it off on medium speed because cream is still a little bit liquidy, so you don't want a disaster and I'm not gonna be bothered putting on my guard, so. Medium speed, as you see that it starts whipping and thickening, you're going to put it up just a little bit more. Now, you can put a little bit of vanilla in here you can put a little bit of sugar if you like. I prefer not to because this thing is so sweet that you want something to break the sweetness. Now, I don't like to whip my cream up too much for a pavlova. I like to get it to the point where it's kind of like medium peaks, if you, if you kind of know what I mean. It's not to the point where you, you don't bring it to the... <laughs> you don't bring it to the point where it almost turns into butter. You want it, you know, maybe 30 seconds before that. So I'm going to whip this up, then I'm going to show you how to put this deliciousness together. 
Okay, I think this is the point. This is the point, yes. This is the point. It's still, it's kind of medium peaks. Can you see? It's medium, okay? So that's, that's what I like for a pavlova. What you might like is different. You might like it to the point where it's almost butter. You might like it a little bit softer. It's up to you. I probably wouldn't make it softer than that because then you'll just have a, a runny mess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our cream on top. Now, you don't need to cover the whole thing. I just like to put a little bit of cream. I like to use the cream as a sticking device for the berries and all of the deliciousness. Now, I'm gonna put the cherries on whole and I'm just gonna tell people to make sure that they don't choke on them. And make sure that you clean all of your berries. Now, I've also got some strawberries here which I've washed and we're just gonna slice these up because you cannot have a pavlova without strawberries. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Some delicious blueberries. Now, you don't have to be as careful about placing stuff as I am. You can just chuck it on. I'm, I'm just being a little bit careful because I want to take a little bit of care, make it look nice and even. Now, I'm going to finish it off with some mint leaves and make it look super, super, super Christmassy. Now, that there is my beautiful Christmas wreath pavlova. How amazing does that look? And it's going to taste so delicious. Now, if you want to know how delicious it tastes, you can get the recipe for this on thescramline.com. If you'd like to know about what I'm up to during the week, you can follow me on social media. The links will be in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe. Give my video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your family and friends. I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scramline.